has seen them before, and they are there. It in its own image, indestructible. Man misreads the stars, might he not misread the Bible? There is no framework in heaven, there is no support. You must learn to think precisely. This is the earth. No apples. You can prove anything with apples. <laughs> this is the earth, and this is you, standing on it. And now, the earth turns. And I'm upside down. No. Look. Look hard. Where's your head? There, down under. What? Now, isn't it precisely where it was before? With your feet still on the ground. So why don't I feel it turning? Well, because you're turning with it. You and the air and everything that's on the earth. So why does it look as if the sun is moving? Oh, because the earth is always underneath you. And for you, it doesn't move. But look above you. Now, the sky's above your head. But if I turn it upside down, what's above your head now? The floor. <laughs> and where's the sky? Underneath. Aha! That's brilliant! Ah! That'll really piss her off! <laughs> <laughs> so how do you explain the bright spots? It's not possible. It is. They're mountains on a star. Gigantic mountains whose peaks are touched by the rising sun while it's still night on the slopes. What you see is spreading is the light flowing down those slopes from the summits to the valleys. But that contradicts the astronomy of the last 2,000 years. Correct. What you are seeing has been seen by no one else but me. You're number two. <laughs> but the moon can't be an earth with mountains and valleys any more than the earth can be a star. The moon can be an earth with mountains and valleys, just as the earth can be a star. One among thousands. Look at it once more. Is the dark part of the moon completely dark? No. There's a kind of weak, ashy gray light. And what light might that be? It's from the earth. <laughs> Nonsense, it can't be. How can the earth give off light with its mountains, forests, and seas? It's a cold body. The earth gives off light as the moon gives off light, by reflection from the light of the sun. How the moon looks to us, we look to the moon. So the moon and the earth are the same? It would seem so. Even if the earth's a star, just like any other, that still doesn't prove Copernicus. It doesn't prove the earth goes around the sun. There is no star that has another turning around it. But the moon turns around the earth. Sagredo, I wonder. For two days, I've been wondering. Look at Jupiter. Near Jupiter, there are four smaller stars I found on Monday, but took no special note of where they were. Yesterday, I looked again. I could have sworn all four had moved. I noted them down. Today, they were in a different place again. I saw four. Look. I see three. Where is the fourth? Here are the tables. Hmm? Where is the fourth? Where can it have gone? These scientists point their tubes to the heavens and dispossess your holiness of even that. Do you think this is an issue of some tables? Now there is no one in Italy down to the lowest stable head who isn't talking about Venus. Suggesting that if the church is wrong on that, maybe it's wrong on everything. What happens when these people, weak, ignorant, and prey to all kinds of bodily impulses, believe only in those impulses and nothing else? 
First they doubt the sun moves, then they doubt it's proper to pay taxes. As they sail across the seas, against which I raise no objection, they put their faith not in God, but in star charts and a, a, a little brass ball, which they call a compass. This evil man knows what he's doing. Yes, we will question everything. Yes, we will go back right to the beginning. And even then, we won't progress at speed, but at a snail's pace. And what we discover today, we will wipe off the board tomorrow and not write it up until we have discovered it again. And what we want to find, we will view with particular mistrust. So, we will approach our observation of the sun, determined to discover that the earth stands still. And only when we fail, fail utterly, only when we are totally defeated and dejected, licking our wounds, only then may we perhaps begin to entertain the notion that we might have been right all along. So, woe to us if we do not examine every other conceivable hypothesis, but woe to those who haven't looked, yet who still advocate what we know to be wrong. Take the cloth off the telescope and turn it to the sun! I knew you had already started. I knew when you pretended not to recognize your daughter's fiancé. Father! Father, you drove him away. I have to know! What I know, I have to pass on, like a lover, like a drunk, or like a traitor. It's a terrible failure. I admit it, it will all end in disaster. But even worse is to shout the truth into a void. What's the night like?